Next on the list is Retouch. I'll go ahead and click on that, and at the top I have three more tools to use. The first one is Perfect Eraser. Perfect Eraser allows you to brush over sections of your image and it will automatically remove them and then replace it with the surrounding elements. So I'm going to brush over this animal here and as I release, it's going to kind of do its thing. Now the success that you have with this is just going to depend on the image. Here you can see it pulled in too much of the out of focus grass when it really should be pulling in some of the area off to the left and the right. So I find that using a combination of these tools is helpful. So next I'm going to jump over to the clone stamp tool. The way the clone stamp works is you sample an area that you want to copy and then when you brush over it, it's going to copy that section that you sampled. So you sample a section by pressing and holding the Option or Alt key, and then you click. Then when you move your brush over, you can see that area that you sampled kind of come with it. And I could paint this wherever I wanted to on the image. So I'm going to start out by brushing over part of this area. And the important thing when you are using the Clone Stamp tool is you want to make sure that you are sampling often. You want to change up the location. Otherwise, you're going to really make it obvious that you did a lot of cloning to your image because you're going to get that kind of repeating pattern. So I'm going to sample from a new spot farther to the left and then I'll brush. And then I'm going to sample from the right and brush. And now I'm going to sample from the top here of this grass and kind of move that over there. I'm going to jump to another image to show you that last retouch tool. Now let's go ahead and discuss the retouch brush. I'll go ahead and select it at the top. The retouch brush is great when you have little spots in your image that you want to remove. Good examples are sensor spots or maybe blemishes on a face. So I'll go ahead and zoom in and I'm going to press that space bar and pan over. Now my niece Lily here doesn't really have a lot going on. She's very young, so her face is very blemish free, but I can still see a few little bumps that wouldn't hurt to just kind of remove with this retouch brush. And it's very simple to use. All you need to do is click and it removes that area. You can also drag it to do the same thing. You have to be careful though, because sometimes if you drag too large of a section, it can tend to blur that area a little too much. So in those cases, you may need to switch over to that clone stamp tool to achieve a, a better looking effect.